do you remember the ferocity of the Spartan warriors and the day that they surrounded Athens and caused so much death? You don't, do you? You've forgotten. You no longer care about the tragic mistakes of the past. But as good Athenians, we adopt and adapt from our past errors. Now I shall begin the lessons of the day! The war began after we tried to keep the peace. We formed our Delian League for the good of all Greece. And how did those Spartans take it? They attacked. Thirsty for blood, as usual. Long ago we looked upon them as allies in the years of the Persian Wars. Those were brutal times, and the Spartans were brutal people to see us through the chaos. I am your king, Xerxes! Hail Xerxes, king, king of kings! Now, today, we defeat Sparta! Huzzah! Huzzah! For God, for king, for Xerxes, fire! were lost, but that is no great loss to the Spartans, and we can still see that recklessness in the mouths of the slain. We persevered, and twice, at Marathon and Plataea, we beat back hundreds and thousands of those Persian demons. We stood together shoulder to shoulder and defended our home. The Immortals were Xerxes' best and most loyal troops he had, but they were no match for the weight of the Hoplite. After the horrors of the Persian invasion, the battle was done, and we were no longer a united nation in the face of danger. A Spartan will never be a part of this. This is madness! Divided we shall die. With no unity, we are all as good as dead. What has already been strong. We need no one. Your city shall burn to end by glass. Your women will be raped. Your children shall be slaughtered. And the des your destruction is the will of the gods. And I, I am their instrument. <laughs> That's the way it will be. Then this means war. <clears throat> So the Peloponnesian War began, and the kings of Sparta were pitted against our great democracy. And then the blood began to spill. The fighting was tough. Neither side could gain the advantage. It was a bloody stalemate that lasted for years. We must never let that happen again. While the Spartans had an unstoppable army, they did not have a navy to cut off our lifeline to the sea. But the Persians were more than happy to provide them. It would be an honor
the Spartans surrounded our city walls, and the Persians our harvest. And without our food supply, we withered and died like grapes on the vine. Come on, surrender, you dogs! You cannot win, for we are Spartans! No! You can never make us surrender to you! We'd rather die than become your slaves! So be it! For Sparta! We haven't been an end. Now, we exterminate them. To the bitter. They have left us to die. But we will still fight! To the death! Now, I get the one on the right. You guys get the fat one. Now, let's go! After months of siege and sickness, the final attack came. And the final hour of judgment was at hand. Finish him. The Spartans had won the war. It was finally over. But a new threat arose almost immediately to rival the ferocity of the Spartans. My name is Philip II of Macedon. Surrender to me or die, Spartan cowards! We have invaded the Athens. Now hey, what the we, just, what? we have invaded the Athens. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Great to be an ally. Yes. I shall command my gravy. Navy. <laughs> if that's the way it has been, then do it. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah. Aaron. No. I'm dust. What am I supposed to say? Practice throw. I don't know how it's going to go. Wow! <laughs>